back to another Home Sweet Home Cooking. I am your host Rocky, always in my mom's kitchen. And today we are going to take another uh, notch off my top 20 southern foods every southern cook should know list. Number 12 is pinto beans. I've never done pinto beans before, but I've watched a couple people make it and I have a recipe that I'm going to modify a little bit because I'm going to do a slightly different, couldn't find some of the ingredients, and we'll get right into it. I have one onion and two cloves of garlic minced and I put that in some olive oil and I sauteed them down until the onions turn translucent. Uh, last night I soaked one pound, I rinsed and soaked one pound of kidney beans, sorry, pinto beans, we're doing pinto beans, obviously it's got pinto beans, and I soaked them overnight and I drained them off, I'm gonna put those in the pot, and the beans, the bacon, four slices of thick cut bacon, you don't have to break it up because you're gonna be stirring it, it's gonna be boiling and they'll, they'll spread out. Uh, the salt, it calls for one teaspoon of salt, less if you've got a salt sensitivity. And it calls for some chicken broth concentrate. Concentrating. No. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> you should see my mom roll her eyes. Do about one tablespoon worth of that. I'm using the Better Than Bullion brand instead of the powdered. I want to give this a try. It smells fantastic. It calls for one bay leaf. And it calls for a little bit of sugar. I'm not going to add the sugar till later. I don't know if I want sugar in my pinto beans. Some people put it in, some people don't. So that's one thing I'm going to go a little bit different. And the last thing that's not on this recipe, which you'll find on most other recipes, is a smoked ham hock. I couldn't find ham hock, so I got some smoked turkey wings. And I'm just going to put those in the pot and nestle them down in there. And to that, because I'm using turkey and using the chicken broth, I'm going to get away with my, ex, my other part. Normally they say just add water to this. You want to cover it with uh, by two inches. So I am going to start with chicken broth. I've already got some of the concentrate in there, but that's fine. It's just going to add some extra richness. And the rest of it I'll make up with water to cover it by two inches. Once you get it to there, you're going to put it on medium heat until it comes to a light, light boil. Then you're going to reduce the heat to low and you're going to simmer it uh, probably three or four hours. Uh, you just want to simmer it down until your beans get soft or you can take a bean with your spoon on the side and, and mash it to the side and it falls apart. And you don't want to put too much water in to begin with because the beans will be very watery at the end. Just cover it with two inches. As it cooks down and if it's not close to being soft yet and you need to add more water, don't just put water off the tap. Put it in a separate pan or a tea kettle, get it boiling and add a little bit of hot boiling water. That way your temperature stays consistent and keeps cooking and you don't start and stop the cooking process. But this is going to go on the stove, get up to medium to a simmer and it's going to get on going from there and we'll be back when they're done. Alright, it is done simmering, it is thickened up pretty good. Most of the water is cooked down, left a little bit of liquor in the bottom, pot liquor. Uh, I put the, I took the turkey wings out about a half an hour ago, let them cool, shredded the meat off, put it back in. So this is a meaty kind of pinto beans. Instead of having ham hock, it's going to have some uh, smoked turkey in it. Cooked me up a batch of cornbread with bacon in it. Hmm. So let's try the beans. They're very hot. Just came off. I haven't even let them sit just long enough to take that little bit of a video showing you what it looks like. I didn't salt or pepper these other than the salt that went in. Um, I did taste it cooking throughout and um, I like the flavor of it so I don't think I'm going to need salt and pepper for me. Mm. So tender, so smoky, so flavorful. Wow. And I always turn my nose up at pinto beans so I'm like, it's just boiled beans, how could it be? <laughs> now I see why this is number 12 on the list. Um, very easy to do. Just uh, saute a little bit of onion and garlic, throw in your pre-soaked beans. So you can parboil them too. You can parboil them for 
I don't know, from half an hour to an hour, pour that water off and put it in there. I just, the soaking method overnight is just is easy or easier probably going to have to parboil them. Mmm, that smoked turkey. But it's real easy to do. Uh, I didn't have to add any more water. That two inches above, I thought it was going to be a little bit too much water, but as it cooked down here towards the end, it thickened up nice and good. And like I said, the beans are very, they're, they're tender. Very tender. And I always see it served with cornbread. So, give me a little piece of cornbread in there. Soak up some of that liquor. See what that's like. <laughs> Folks, I'm a happy boy. People will sit here and make a meal out of this. I can see why. To me, it's more of a side. But now that I have it like this, I can see why it's a meal. I can see why it's number 12 on the Southern Essentials Cook List. And I'm so glad that I got to make it, folks. Give it a try. I think you're going to like it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.